happening folks this is jimmy g in the place to be welcome back to the good the bad the awesome where we review all things transformer star wars and pop culture uh but with other things in there as well so we're 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 a channel where we get first reactions do all sorts of stuff it's really fun we have a good time so if this is your first time here please go ahead and like and subscribe if this is your millionth time here you watch too much tv go read a book all right quit watching tv read a book no actually have me going on in the background i'm very good white noise matter of fact you can loop this or faucet see you can have white noise with me but anyway i digress we're not here to talk about that just hey y'all remember stay tuned we got some competitions that'll be finishing up here on june 30th where we'll draw names on july 1st i will link them in the bottom with our 300 giveaway our transformers box mystery june giveaway and our universal studios giveaway that we have going on uh so yes we have those going but get those out of the way so i got something fun for you it's a transformer but it's also something a little different it doesn't transform uh, as y'all know i earlier unboxed a nendoroid of chainsaw man and i just fell in love with it i love these little chibi style figures that have all the different parts where you can kind of pose them however you want to not necessarily an action figure but more of a cute looking statue with that uh, chibi kind of look if you don't know what chibi means is that chibi culture is 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 that it it's in short it means uh it means in short it means short and deformed uh in the cute way for kawaii culture it's just like that cute stuff like the little cute little you know <laughs> you know with big eyes and all sorts of stuff the big head tiny body now it is also a derogatory term that you can call someone, oh, look at that chibi right there, man, he's a chibi, uh, where he's short and, you know, making fun of him that way. Or, oh, aren't you so chibi? Aren't you such a chibi? There we go, so, but, uh, but this is the kawaii culture, the good form of chibi, and we're gonna be looking at the Optimus Prime G1 version Nendoroid. Uh, closer closer look at this so why don't y'all come with me and we'll take a look at the box we'll get them out of the box put them in poses and give you some of my thoughts on this baby let's do it and here you have the packaging in all of its glory made by good smile they make all sorts of nendroids mainly a lot of anime uh, which there's nothing wrong with that i am digging anime i'm getting back into it i love it love it love it right now watching jujitsu kaisen my hero academia just finished the swordsmith village arc with demon slayer but that's what nendroid does now one of the things you got to watch out for is they do make counterfeits or knockoff nendroids and and uh the way you can check check to see if you got a legit one is basically it's, it's good smile company it says it right there it says it right here uh we'll say it on the back here too as well uh but yeah this is a good smile company nendroid but you won't have that you won't have that little logo right there with uh with a knockoff box on that so this is the real deal my friends and so we are going to open this baby up and take a look at them but first take a look at the box there's the front there's the side which you can do with them there's the back with all the different poses that you can have and there's him with megatron and and maybe someday actually spoiler alert i do have megatron so we'll definitely get a get a good look at him sometime too as well uh but let's get him out of the box and see all the wonderful stuff that you get let's take a look at these wonderful toys and so what would a nendroid uh, chibi style optimus prime sound like i think it might sound a little like this Sorry, Peter Cullen, for ruining your voice. I uh, didn't mean to do that, but, uh, but yeah. Let's get him out of the box. And ba -ba -ba -ba, this, pro this product is for ages 15 and up. So, hey, be careful on this. So, oh, very cool. I love that looks awesome. That le nice little pattern artwork there. Let's put that to the side, right over here. Let's get him out of his packaging. Come on, little buddy. Do I have tape? Yes, I have tape. Tape is holding me back. Darn you, tape. 
It's weird. Some of them have tape, some of them don't, but that's okay. We'll get past it. Let's go ahead and spill the guts here. Uh, and then, then we have the stand right here. Let's move that all to the side. Let's get the stand out. I can't stand the stand. No, actually, I love the stand. The stand helps with all the posing, uh, which other figures could use those. So thank you, Good Smile, for putting the stand in. And thank you, Jimmy, for dropping the stand. There it is. Hi. And let's get him out of his plastic. There we are. Excellent. So let me just show you a few things you get here. Uh, so first of all, you get this a beautiful stand that you can use to pose them. And what I love about this stand, there's all sorts of holes around here where you can kind of put this in so you can pose it in whatever form or fashion and make sure it's balanced the way you want it to be. Uh, then we have extra hands. We got like three sets of extra hands right there. So you can really do some cool stuff there. We also have his main little blaster, master blaster. And if he's got an ax to grind, here it is. Uh, so his ax to grind with somebody, there it is. And then the piece de resistance himself is Optimus Prime right here. I mean, you got the head turn. Plastic feels a little cheap. Maybe I got a knockoff one. I'll have to check it out. So you make sure uh, the arm, you get some posability with it. Uh, oh, well, you get more movement with this Optimus Prime Nendroid than you get with other Nendroids. His feet, uh, you get some ankle tilt, you get a waist, you get some ab crunch. This guy's got it going on. So now the thing is, is you don't have different face plates that you can put on with this one, like other figures, but what they, what, what they make up for with that is giving you some extra accessories, but there he is. There's the front of them. Looks cool. There's the side side profile. There's the back very G one ish. The plastic feels a little weird and off to me, but you know, that's just me. Uh, like I said, I'll have to see, uh, maybe I did get a knockoff one here. Maybe not. I don't know, but I, I, I paid good price for it. So it can't be a knockoff. Uh, so, uh, but then again, I might've got ripped off. I got them on Macari. So hopefully I didn't get ripped off, but let's throw on some hands. Let's throw some hands in the air. Let's get his, let's do an ax in this hand. Yeah. And okay. Let's do a uh, open fisted hand right here. So there, that's how easy it is to switch out the accessories on these guys. Very simple, very easy. You can get them in different dynamic poses that you want to. We can do the heroic kind of pointing the finger. And then let's put his, uh, gun hand on where where's your gun hand there it is we'll get his blaster in his hand there we are oh those blasters that blaster fits much easier than some of the other ones and there he is pointing at you doing his thing saying pull my finger no i'm just kidding he's not saying that he's probably saying something heroic uh but yeah, very cool. The wheels don't move or anything like that. He's just like, mainly he's just a figure that you can kind of pose in different ways. Uh, he's got little short Oompa Loompa legs. Very nice. So let's get him in some poses and let's give you some of my, well, actually let's, let's do some comparisons with some other figures here. So let's see if I can get him to stand on his own. There we go. There, he's kind of leaning to the, he's got the lean going. There he is. So let's take a look at him with core class Optimus Prime. Well, aren't you so cute, big head? And we got Voyager class Optimus Prime knocking over, making, being a bully to our little chibi guy. Voyager class Optimus. Oh, this Optimus is looking down now. He's so sad. And then Masterpiece Optimus. So there you go. Not at all looking like these guys because he's meant to look super deformed so he can look cute.
But he looks dejected now. I don't look like my brothers. I'm so sorry, Optimus Prime. Let's see what we can do to make it better to you. So let's take a look at, at some different dynamic poses and give you my final thoughts on this. And uh, is it a buy for you? So we'll be back. And we're back. So final thoughts on Mr. Prime. Is he prime steak or is he a cheap filet? So I did some research online just to make sure I didn't get a fake one. And he's legit, he's the real deal. He just felt a little cheap to me and that's one of my cons that I have. He feels a little cheap, um, but uh, very cool. I mean, I like the fact that these have more pose ability than other Nendroids. Like the elbows move up, all sorts of stuff too as well. So. He's really cool. He's borderline action figure, but uh, but still I would consider him a collectible. This is probably the pose I will keep him in. Um, but there are different poses. You can pose him in with all the different hands and all the different options. Uh, you can really make Prime your own. And what's really cool is Nendroid does have, like I said, Megatron. They also have Starscream and they also have Nemesis Prime. Spoiler alert, I got all three of those too as well. So we will be taking a look at those. Um, but uh, hopefully they make more. Uh, I know they also make uh, the Bayverse Optimus Prime. Not too interested in getting that one. I, I'll stay with the G1, that's, that's my love. Uh, but you know what, if you like the Bayverse Optimus Prime, go ahead and go for them. I mean, you know, again, it's which Transformers did you grow up on? I grew up on G1, some of y'all grew up on Bayverse, some of y'all grew up on Energon, some of y'all grew up on Prime, you know? Uh, so, uh, but, it all is dependent upon your collecting habits and what you like. Uh, but I did get this guy for a steal uh, on Macari. Uh, so be able to just take a look at, you know, look at your local auctions and things like that. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, uh, anywhere you want to on that. But just, just do your research. Make sure you're getting the legit Nendroid. I, I was pretty sure it was, especially because it had the Good Smile Company logo on the box and all that kind of stuff i just it just doesn't feel as premium as uh like that chainsaw man uh nendroid did uh so yeah like him i'd say he's pretty awesome you know uh what it what would make him over the top if this nendroid i mean you could just remove the head but could transform into a cute little truck that would be awesome uh that would be really really cool so good smile maybe in version two we have a little transforming action on that you know, who knows? Maybe it will work. Maybe it won't. But uh, overall, very good figure. You won't be disappointed with him. Uh, so I would encourage you to collect him, especially if you want something very cute. And so with that, we will come back some other time with some other awesome things that we will talk about. But in the meantime, you all stay young, have fun, and be awesome now. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.